liquid railway activation function. According to the definition that we have, liquid railway activation function is also a linear activation function. It is the modified version of the railway activation function. It is also used in hidden and output layers. Leaky Relo takes all the real numbers between negative infinity and positive infinity. We know that Relo means rectified linear unit activation function. So its modified version is Leaky Relo activation function. It is also a linear activation function, which is used in hidden layer and also in the output layer of the neural network model. So Leaky Relu takes all the real numbers between negative infinity and positive infinity. Why we call it Leaky Relu? As it is pretty clear from its name Leaky Relu, which means that there is a slight leakage here in this activation function. If you compare it with the Relu activation function, there wasn't any leakage. For all the negative values, there was zero in the output. But in the leaky railway activation function, we have a slight leakage. We have a leakage here. So for negative values, it may return negative value as an output. This is the difference. Therefore, it takes all the real numbers between negative infinity and positive infinity. Leaky railway activation function doesn't block all the negative values. There is a slight leakage on negative side. Therefore, it has less vanishing gradient descent compared to Relu. It takes all the real numbers between negative infinity and positive infinity. As I told you, it is pretty clear from its name Leaky Relu Activation Function, which means that it doesn't block all the negative values which was happening in the Relu Activation Function. There is a slight leakage on the negative side. Remember, the leakage is only on the negative side. So there is a slight leakage on the negative side, therefore it has less vanishing gradient descent compared to Relu. Because Relu has a very clear restriction that for any negative values you will get only zero. But here in the leaky Relu, we have a slight leakage on the negative side. So it takes all the real numbers between negative infinity and positive infinity. Let me give you the mathematical equation here where we have f of x equals to kx when x is less than 0 and x when x equals to or greater than 0. k is a small leak where x equals to summation of input times weight plus bias. Now let me show you the graph of the leaky relu activation function. This is the respective graph for the leaky relu activation function. Look, as I said, that on the negative side we have a slight leak. We have a slight leakage here. Now when you look to the graph, it's still trying to be linear. I mean, there is a small leak here, small leak here on the negative side. So when you look to the equation f of x, f of x or y will be kx when x is less than zero. If the input that we pass to the neural network is negative, f of x will be kx. But what is k? That small leak is the k. So you have to put kx here. x is the input. But k is a small leak on the negative side, don't forget, not on positive side. But for the positive, it will be x when x equals to 0 or greater than 0, which means that positive values on the right hand side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to positive infinity. When you compare the leaky Relu activation functions with the Relu activation function, this is the difference. Relu activation function only returns zero when x is less than zero on the negative side. But for the leaky relu, it is kx when x is less than zero, where k is a small leak, small leak. We could clearly see here in the graph that there is a small leakage, there is a small leakage on the negative side, not on the positive side. On the positive side will be x if x equals to or greater than zero, which means that whatever value you put as an input to the neural network, it will return exactly the same value in the output. So we can say that the expected output can be between negative infinity and positive infinity. It is unlike Relu activation functions. In the leaky Relu activation functions, we still have negative values on the negative side. So if you pass a negative value as an input to the neural network model, with the help of the leaky Relu activation functions, you may get negative value as an output. 
but if you put positive value you will get exactly the same positive value as an output look these are the inputs that we pass to the neural network model so if it is a positive value it will return exactly the same value but if it is negative it may return negative value in the output with a small leakage because we have a small leakage therefore we put kx so we can say that the expected output will be between negative infinity up to positive infinity but don't forget negative infinity and positive infinity are not included these are not numbers Infinity is not a number between negative infinity and positive infinity. It can be any number. If you plug in any negative values or any positive values, it will return that negative or positive values as an output because of the small leakage on the negative side and also this linear graph on the positive side. Look at the graph for the linear side and also for the positive side. For the positive side, it is linear. If you take a slope here at 1, it has the same distance along x-axis and along y-axis. Similarly, at this point, we have the same distance along x-axis and y-axis because it is a linear graph. But when you look to the graph on the negative side, it is not linear. If you put 1 here, you may have some kind of negative value here along y-axis. If I take 4 along x-axis, you won't get the same 4 along y-axis because it is not linear. It is trying to be linear, but not linear. That's why whatever value you get along x-axis will be different along y-axis. But yes, one thing is for sure that you will get negative value as an output if you use leaky value function in neural network. So from negative infinity up to positive infinity, it can be any number as an output. Now let me show you a simple neural network. This is a simple neural network where we have used leaky ReLU activation function. Here is my input. I want to pass the input here. And the output will be from negative infinity up to positive infinity. Look, as I said, that in leaky ReLU activation function, between negative infinity and positive infinity, you can put any number. It can be any number as an input and it can give any number between negative infinity up to positive infinity as an output. For example, if you pass input as a negative value, you will get negative value at the end. And similarly, if you pass positive value as an input, you will get positive value as an output. So there is no restriction. There is a restriction. There is a slight restriction at the negative side. Because remember, there is a slight leakage. The graph is not perfectly linear as we have at the right side in the positive side so at the negative side still there is a slight restriction but not as we saw in the real activation function where the real blocks all the negative values and restricted them to zero it is another case in leaky real activation function you can still get negative value as an output in leaky real activation function because of this small leakage so i can say that it is ideal for multi-class classification problems. To some extent, we can say that we can use it for multi-class classification problems where we have multiple classification, not real activation function. So this is the difference. There's still vanishing gradient issue, but not too much what we had in real activation function. So I hope the point is clear now.